everybody for uh, coming along this morning. Can I particularly thank uh, Tanya for getting up early, jumping on the plane, uh, and uh, go up here and uh, talk to our community, which has been impacted so savagely by a new round of cuts uh, from Queensland Health and from a privatisation agenda. So what you've really got now is another round of savage cuts which will cut right through to the bone. What the government is pretending is that they're just trimming at the edges, but in fact they've pulled out an axe and are hacking away at the very principles of Medicare and impacting on our health system. And what I've found so disturbing as I've moved around talking to people is the fear. So with those few words, could you please uh, welcome Tanya Plebiscic. so much, Wayne, for inviting me up this morning. I really appreciate the invitation. When Campbell Newman came into government, he didn't say, I'm going to come in and I'm going to shut hospital beds. He didn't say, I'm going to come in and I'm going to sack nurses. He didn't say, I'm going to come in and I'm going to cut medical services. I'm going to sack doctors. I'm going to close pathology services. I'm going to close sexual health services. I'm going to close mental health services. I'm going to close nursing homes. I'm going to shut down dental care. <laughs> he didn't say any of that before he came into government. What he said is, we'll do a commission of inquiry. Sounds very sensible, doesn't it? A commission of inquiry. And what that commission of inquiry told him is that he, he should privatise health services in Queensland and he set out on that mission. But in his very first budget, he made a decision to cut $3 billion from the Queensland health system. That very first budget, he sacked more than 4,000 workers, 4,140 workers in one go from one budget, from $3 billion cut from the budget. There is no way you can cut 4,000 workers from a health system and not see patient care impacted. When those first cuts um, came about, uh, Beth and her union were out talking to uh, nurses on the ground and other health professionals about the impact that those cuts were having on patients. And uh, I don't think I don't think we thought it could get any worse really, Beth, did we? I mean, I, I, I didn't believe that they could sustain those 4,000 job cuts and not admit that this was compromising patient care. I, didn't, I, I literally didn't think they could get away with it. I thought that they would start to see the impact in the health system of patients missing out, on people being turned away from hospitals, on, on uh, older people having nowhere to go because the nursing homes were being shut down and they'd say, oh, we've gone too far, we cut too fast, we went too hard too soon. Instead of saying, no, we went too hard, we went too fast, to cut too, too much too soon, they've actually gone back for another go. As a federal government, we don't run the hospitals here and, um, you know, I, I, wish I, could, uh, I wish I could intervene more than we can. We will continue to increase funding to Queensland hospitals. I can't understand how the Queensland Government, with all the extra money we've given them, has actually gone about cutting services. And, but we'll continue to support Queenslanders and we'll do it as directly as we can because I don't trust Campbell Newman's Government with healthcare.